Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to my YouTube channel for all the subscribers and all the new subscribers. Today I'm going to be doing a reading on William Terrell. He's a little boy that was three, three years old and kidnapped on the 12th of September 2014 from Australia in New South Wales. A place called Kendall. Seven years it's been and he would be 10 years old now. I feel I feel like there's a connection for me here with this case and it's pretty big it's in it's very big in Australia just like Gabby Petito's case is very big. I'm just going to shuffle the cards and make a connection and see what comes out. Now I'll just tell you a little bit about where he went missing. He, he was with his foster parents or foster mother and she was at her mother's house, which is at Kendall because they're not from Kendall. So they were holidaying on the mid north coast of New South Wales visiting their grandmother and it was in a very bushy area so there was lots of bush they were on like rural rural blocks so I think they were one or two acre blocks so that that's quite big so it's not like a normal house block no end street so there was only you could only go in one way and it's a very tiny, small country town on the coast. So this was very strange. Um, but the area, around the area, because I holiday in that area, I go to Port Macquarie, which is like, I think a 20 minute drive from Kendall. Around that area, I know that there is there has been like um, pedophiles. It's that like if you Google it, it's there. There's known pedophile offenders. That's like a pedophile ring they call it um, up that area. I'm not sure why they congregate together up there, but it's a bit strange. It's all a bit too strange. So I'm just going to ground my energy and tune in and focus. So I probably will fast forward this part and bring you back to where things start to come out. So. Make sure that they're in view. Okay, so these are the cards that I've pulled out to start the reading. Straight away, this card makes me feel like this represents William's home. So the Ten of Cups is a beautiful home, happy life. So he was happy at his grandmother's house. He was playing in the garden. Everything felt safe. His two, um, his mother and his grandmother were there. From what I've watched on TV, they were on the back veranda 
around the back and the kids were playing right in front of them and then they went inside to get tea and, and as they've went inside William that's when William disappeared so this tells this card here tells me that everything was happy it was a beautiful home, happy life. He felt happy in his home life. This card here stands out to me next. And it makes me feel like these hands just reached out and grabbed really quickly. They were, they just acted, acted really quickly because ones is an action card, so actioning. Um, so yes, uh, someone has grabbed William from his grandmother's house. Um, with the Knight of Wands here, I felt like it, it happened really quickly. So it was like lightning speed, quick action. These two cards here make me feel like this is actually how William felt. So he was playing in the garden and there was lots of trees around and he was pretending to battle like because he was Superman, I mean Spider-Man. So he was make play, make play, whatever kids do, playing in the garden, pretending that they're battling. But then something made him Trust. Trust his intuition. And this card here, the High Priestess, she looks like she's just letting go and she's, she's leaving. So something has made him trust. But whoever did this is not someone that you would trust because this hangman card tells me that he was tied up. They tied him up. So... Tell me who took, who took William Terrell. So what cards we got here? Oh, oh my God. Look what cards just came out. The Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords. Well, he's taking something and he's running. And there's something real foxy about him. And he's not a person that you would trust. Definitely not. And the Wheel of Fortune just tells me that he thought he was in the right place at the right time and it just happened very quickly. What can you tell me about this guy that took William Terrell? So it was definitely a kidnap. He's got some dark secrets. Definitely dark secrets about this bloke. And there could be could have been a woman involved. And there also, also is some people that from the Five of Pentacles, I see that there is some people that are not wealthy. Because these people look like they're a bit poor. Um, and they make me feel like they would actually do anything for money. Yeah, definitely money. Money was definitely involved in this because we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so 
before the cards that I pulled out before, we seen that he was taken by someone. What else can you tell me about William Terrell? Okay, so we've got a man here. We've got a woman. And it's look like, it looks like with the three of ones here that they, their plan was a success. So there was definitely a man involved and a woman involved. And they were successful at what they had planned to do. <clears throat> and that was to abduct a child and they've abducted William and caused a lot of heartache and grief for everybody with the three of swords here. And it was worldwide. The world has seen this. It's a case that's gone worldwide. And magician. What does a magician tell me? Why do I get mind manipulation with that card? With the magician. Mind manipulation. Okay, so, oh God, that just came to me then. So with the magician, it tells me, because this part here stood out and I kept feeling or well, hearing mind manipulation. So this is how he gets his children. Hopefully he hasn't done it before, but he manipulates them mentally into trusting him. So here he has all the tools. The magician has all the tools. So he probably has, you know, a basket full of toys, lollies, um, anything like that to manipulate a child because as soon as a child sees toys or lollies straight away it's like you know it's it's christmas to them lollies and toys and they love it kids love it so this is what he did he was he manipulated the he manipulated william it's all about william now so he manipulated william and here we go we've got the four of cups and you know he is William, playing in the garden, minding his own business, not really taking notice of what's going on around him, playing, you know, Spider-Man, what he loved. And he is that arsehole waving this tool, this thing in front of William to get his attention. And that's what he did. He got his attention and drawed him Drawed him in. Um, Queen of Pentacles and Six of Cups. So it's really weird, but he, I know for a fact that they said that he was playing in the garden with his sister. Now the Six of Cups here makes me feel like she has seen something. But being as young as she is, and I'm not sure how young she is, if she's younger than William or older, but she couldn't communicate it or she didn't understand how to communicate it, but she's seen something. Uh, what does the Queen of Pentacles tell me? What does the Queen of Pentacles tell me? What does the Queen of Pentacles tell me? Okay, the Queen of Pentacles makes me feel like, because we've got the Queen of Cups here, 
it make and she's holding up something. It makes me feel like to begin with there was a female that lured him. So the female lured him in, got his attention. She may have got him because got his attention towards the bush beside the house. Because we have the Ace of Pentacles standing here in the woods, the bush, whatever it is. And the Queen of, I mean, the Ace of Pentacles, he's standing there like he's focusing on something. So she lured him in, and there's definitely a female and a male, because here we go. We've got the Nine of Pentacles, and the other one was the Queen of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. So it was near the bush. There was no car. I can't, uh, well, I haven't asked. So let's see. Was there a car? Was there a car involved? Not at this stage. Not at this stage. I didn't see a car. I don't see a car. Can you tell me about William Terrell? So yeah, it happened very fast with the Knight of Cups like we seen before. And as I said, there was definitely two people involved because the Temperance card makes me feel like he was confused about which way to go, but there was two people luring him in with tools like toys, lollies, whatever. Um, and I do feel like they were involved in something evil. They're involved in definitely something, something evil. I felt like um, William was terrified. He was, he was so upset. He was so upset. What did they do to William because of him being so upset? Oh, God. That's not good. And now I'm seeing the car with the chariot here. The chariot's here. So with the page of ones, that makes me feel like they they undressed him and put different clothing on him so he wouldn't be noticed. He was definitely taken. These hands make me feel like he was taken. And I also feel like they put their hands over his mouth so he wouldn't scream. Um... Page 
Page of Swords. What is that trying to tell me? They were successful at what they planned to do. I wonder if it was around the school holidays because I felt like these people planned to search for children. It was on their agenda and it was their intention because it was holiday season. And yeah, they were quite happy about what they had held when they came across William. Someone in the street, because I just feel like there's someone in the street that knows something. They know something. Yeah, and this person that knows something likes to have a drink. And they called them. Oh, I feel like with the the fool here, they took away his innocence. Oh, it just makes me sick. Sick to the bone. What happened to William Terrell? What happened to William Terrell? What can you tell me about William Terrell? I don't know if there was a person in the street that was into cars like vintage cars or was a mechanic so here we go this is why this has come out the um, six of pentacles so they took him to someone that paid for him so sorry, he was paid so I see money being crossed hands with the Six of Pentacles. Um, yeah, and I don't like this person that brought him. He's evil. Evil, evil, evil. Um, I... I'm just going to say that he did, I feel like he did some terrible things to, to William. I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty because I don't like talking about it. It's disgusting. I think these people should not, they're just evil. They shouldn't be alive in my eyes to do this to children. So, yeah. And I also feel like when he was handed over to this man and money was crossed hands and he was brought, this man also killed him. Um, it, this card here, the Nine of Swords, makes me feel like something was placed over his head so he couldn't see. And they did, he did what he did, which was disgusting. And I'm not even going to talk about it. I don't want to even talk about it because it just makes me sick. But the feeling is, is bad. He was a bad man. And then I feel like he paid someone to dispose of William's body. And I do see that there is a mountain. There is water at the at the bottom of the mountain and there is lots of bushland. What's a star telling me? What's a star telling me about?
yes. He's definitely dead, I feel. William is definitely passed over, which is very sad. I wish I didn't see this, but that's what I'm seeing. And I feel like with the star card here, karmically, he was let down. He was let down and he was not protected from a lot of people that put him in this situation. It makes me angry. Because your parents are supposed to protect you. And I'm not saying that the parents are at fault, but if their actions were not, if their actions were different, I feel like this would not have happened because then he wouldn't have been taken away and put into foster homes and yeah. I do feel like this is this is his parents, the lover's card. And I do feel like they did have to overcome some of their own battles. And they chose made the wrong choices. But I do feel like they loved him. And they, they now have sleepless nights over what has happened. This has ruined their life too. Okay, what more can you tell me about William Terrell? What more can you tell me about William Terrell's disappearance? Where is his body? Show me where his body is. Show me where his body is. Show me where his body is. So he's body was definitely moved with the six of swords here because that's moving from rough waters to calmer waters. So here I see this as moving Oh, that makes me feel like he could be near water or he could be in water. But there is with this card too, there is lots of land around him. What is the Hierophant saying here? What is the Hierophant saying? again so yeah I feel like they're looking in the wrong spot for William and it's not around his home it's more towards water Will, I wonder if they'll find his body. Will they find William Terrell's body? Will they find William Terrell's body? I 
feel they will find it. But it's going to be where there is a mountain and water down the bottom of the mountain with bush surroundings. When will they find his body? Ah. So I feel like maybe a woman will come across it. And there's some sort of, with this nine of wands, I feel like he's like digging. They're digging for something. And they accidentally come across it. When will three and eight yeah I do feel like they will definitely find his body and they will find him well I'll see that he had something over his head and this is really weird, but I felt like he was taken from Kendall towards Sydney because I've seen the Harbour Bridge and he was in the city. And there was definitely a woman involved and there was definitely a man involved. He was taken towards the city. One of the men that I did see when I was meditating on it that he had blonde or white hair. His glasses looked it looked like he didn't wear sunglasses, but his prescription glasses darkened when he was outside. Um, I feel like he was moved of a night time. And I see... I see this patch of grass near the mountain. Where's that? There's a mountain. And there's water. I'm just getting as many cuts cards to come out to see if it triggers my intuition. Mm. Can't see anything new there. Oh, I'll just see. I'll just ask if the case will be closed. Will ever be solved? Will the case ever be solved? Will William Terrell's case ever be solved? Will he be Well, the sun's a yes. And I've got strength. Yeah, I feel like there's a woman behind this. Could be a woman police officer who's really pushing for justice. But I see a woman solving it. Putting together, here she's putting together the puzzles. She's. Yeah, definitely a female energy is really involved in this, in this case, in solving this case. 
will they find remains of these bodies? Whoa, lots came out then. Yes, there will be a completion. And I, I really do feel with these cards here that they might find the suspect. Because if they find the body, they can find DNA. So, anyway. That's all I have. I have to say goodbye. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in my next video.